Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children who just love to get amped. What do I have for you today? Well, it seems the drop-off fairy has given us a surprise. And not just one, but two items that go together and are better than chocolate and peanut butter for your ears. And what is Jimmy doing? Am I testing the white balance on the, on the table? No, it's just what happens. Sometimes you get white on white crime, and then that's a crime to your eyeballs because, you know, everything gets washed out. But I don't care. Stop whining. It's good stuff in the box. It's boxes. 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 Boxings. I don't know. Whatever. I'm going to unboxing. I'm, am I unboxing? Am I unboxings? -es? I don't know what I'm doing. But it, I'm multiply unboxing things. And what are they? We have had X-Duo in the house. Now, X-Duo is the name that's out there in the chi fi world. You know, it's for, I think, I think if you were to compare them as a company, you would say that X-Duo is like SMSL for headphones. Is SMSL is to speakers and home theater and, and, and home, and especially it's just stereo stuff. These, these, this is what X-Duo is to your, ear, your earphone and your headphone uh, amps and DACs and these kinds of things. And I seem, I seem to have, I happen to have, both in one thing, in one box, in one hand. And what does this do? This makes your ears feel good. This makes your ears happy. Why does it make your ears happy? Because it's, it'll push almost anything. And it'll do so clearly. And it's upgradable. Because remember, here... We eschew single-use tools. We want multiple-use tools. We want a tool we can use in multiple situations. And this is the Swiss Army knife of Amp Dax. Decamps. I'm Dacas. I don't know what it is, but, you know, make up a word and then put it in the thing behind, below and tell me. And then we'll, we'll all call it an Amp Dac. I like Amp Daca because it sounds like alpaca and, and you wear it. So, I don't know. But tell me what you like. Do what you like. So, uh, what happened to Shock G and, and, and Humpty Hump? I don't know. I miss those guys. Digital Underground was funky. What are they doing these days? If you know, tell me. So, this is just a receiver. Just a receiver. It's the Bluetooth unit that pairs with this and gives you the functionality of not being tethered. And we all love that untethered life. You know we do. You know we do. So we can walk around with this combination, stack them on top of one another, put it in your pocket, and then you're on stage. You don't need to be wired. You don't need to be tethered to the universe. You, if, as long as you have a way to, to figure out, and this is not hard, spend five minutes on Alibaba, and you can figure out a way to be tethered. We've done a video on these already. I don't know if it's out yet, but we've done them. I've, I've, I've cut it. My editor sometimes, my, you know, she she does what she does. So, you know, when she gets it out to you, she'll get it out to you. Don't push, don't press the lady. She got like, she's programming Bitcoin in the universe or whatever. I don't know how the blockchain stuff works. She's doing all of that. And also she's giving me my videos out. So relax on the little girl, okay? So what do we have? We're going to get out there and be on stage wirelessly connected from this to another Bluetooth unit connect, connected to the mixing board. And so I can have in my ears what I need and not and nothing that I don't. And this is so valuable. It's worth it's worth one of my pockets for six hours. That's I'll tell you that. And yes, shows are six hours. That's what they do. And thankfully, because of that, this is minimum 13 hours. If you use the USB source, if you use the longer source, you're going to be looking at about 40. Mm, but you know, I don't know how that applies when you're using the, the the Bluetooth with it together. I don't know what your max battery life is going to look like. They only have the ratings for them separately, and this plugs into both. But that may be just to charge everything, and it may not actually use both sources to stretch out the battery life. Once again, the packaging is not very clear, as we've all seen with some Chi Fi products. So, what are we going to get into? We're going to get into the XDO5 Plus first, if I can gather my coordination.
This has been your Do ASMR Moment of the Day. Brought to you by Dumb Shit. It's fun to do. So, you got these boxes naked. Got some naked white box. You know I love some naked white box. You can't like love naked white box when you're a giant black man. This is not possible. Okay, so what are we gonna do? We're gonna get into some naked white box. That's right. It's time to infiltrate. So, got yourself a nice little tab here. It's actually openable. Openable. And you know you have all the specs on the back here. It's not. It's not. There's nothing here's a nothing here's a secret. You have replaceable chips in this beast, so it is very unlikely. I'm not going to trash this box, but I am trying to figure out how to get it open without doing so. It is highly unlikely that this thing is going to expire or become outmoded or outdated very soon. And because of this. We have, we love flexibility and extendability, and it would also probably be, probably, be able to keep up with the times and the changing codecs and the changing uh, uh, protocols for music as they evolve. But I think most of this stuff is high def at this point. Nothing's gonna be low definition that you're buying in, you know, after 2015, I think, pretty much. You know, and definitely not after 2020. So, hey, look, I managed to get it somewhat open as I rambled about the product itself. So, ooh, fancy, fancy. It's fuzzy. So fuzzy. Yay. Oh, that was almost working for me. I thought I could, I thought I could get one. Maybe. Uh, no, it's going to fall. Yeah, it's going to fall. Yeah, maybe if I do that. That's still gonna fall. Okay, so, ooh, I like this even more. That black on black crime right there. We were worried it was gonna be a white balance test. Turns out, she's a zebra. You gotta love that interracial thing, come on now. Now, X Duo XD05, and they call it the X Do because it do it all do. Couch Lords of the Underground with the plus on top. What do we have here? Okay. Peachy Keen and Super Clean. Look at this baby here. The XD05 Plus. We have all of our inputs. This chassis is, you could drop this off a building it looks like and you'd be all right, you'd pick it up and it'll still play with a dent in it. You have your, your buttons here for your in, input, and your SRC and your filter. And Nice and tactile, they're, they're clicky, and they're just separated enough so you can feel the difference in them. They're not, they're not the best definition, but it's, it's definitely ample. It's, it's definitely, because I can put one finger on the first button and one on the third and not be pushing in the second one, and I have size 22 ring fingers. Trust me, this is not a joke. This is, these are, so that means they're well, well, well specced and well scoped. It seems, so you have an aux in and out. So you have an aux in and out. You have a USB in, you get to charge, which is USB-C, and your USB in is also USB-C. So we're not, we're not dwelling in the past. We're not living in the, in the stone age of might, trying to find one of those old micro cables that's still falling apart because the dollar store is the only place that sells them anymore. You have your coax in, your digital in, it looks like a coax, it's digital in, but yeah, it looks like a coax cable. And, uh, but you know, if I'm wrong, don't, don't, don't haze me in the comments. You know, I'm making one little mistake. You know how you, uh, your little piranhas get done. <laughs> okay, and then we have 
a little tiny screen. Look at the little diminutive screen. It's so cute. It's an adorable little screen. I will read it when it says things to me, and I will appreciate that it says things to me. I will have a cute little communication. It's so shiny. Look at you. Reflect yourself. Reflect yourself. Okay. And, yes, I always digress. Yeah, don't sue me. Um, ooh. That's clicky. I like that. And it's, it's, it's got like this, I don't know if you can see it, in the, but it's got this real knurling. Like, a, it, it, like, it's got the same knurling as a barbell. Like, a really good barbell. It's not, this is not no, like, this is not, this is tactile as hell. This is an autistic dream right here. It's smooth right here. It's knurled right here. Yeah, I said knurled. I don't care. Knurled. I know, what it, I know how to say it right. And then it's got your little little pipe hole for you let off all your steam when it overheats. It's, it's oh, ooh, it's got power. I turned it on. I didn't mean to turn you on. Didn't mean to turn you on. But I did. So, since I've done it, and you have bass on and off, boost on and off, gain has three levels. Okay. Man, you might have to read a manual for this. This thing is powerful. Like anime levels of, like, you don't even say it right. You say it like an anime character. You do so much of power. Very much of power. So power is very great. Okay. Why does it have so much power? Because if you have some P1s, you can drive this thing with, you can drive those things with this. If you have some P1s, I'm going to say it again. You can drive those things with this. Cleanly and clearly. This will push big headphones, big reference headphones, 600, 700 ohms. No problem. I mean, uh, <laughs> yeah, no problem. I'm not, this, there's no, there's no punchline. 300 ohm headphones are a joke to this. It's a third of what it can do. This thing will get you where you need to go. And if you notice, it'll fit in your pocket. This does, this thing has a 5,000 milliwatt hour battery. That's like cell phone levels of battery. You, you, there, and there's no, look at the screen, there's no screen, there's a little tiny, look at this little, little, two, little two, two line screen. This, you're not burn. there's no nits there. It's not burning, you know, you're not burning a thousand nits with your, with your fancy Sony space phone, which is, you know, telephoto lens that you can see space. No, you're not doing that. There's no, there's nothing. There's no, none of these parts. So it's all going to just you being able to listen to shit. You being able to clearly hear definition and it's just crazy levels of sound quality that's going to be coming in a bulletproof case just to orally insert themselves into your ear holes, right into your ear holes, right deep, deep inside of your ear holes. You're going to feel it off, man. That's what you're going to do. And this thing is a beast. It has an upgradable chipset. That's insane. Um, right now, I forget the, the, the forgive me because all of the technical, uh, you know, the four one fix six everything's got a damn code number, uh, the, you know, for a name. But what is the chip in this thing? It's got the AKM AK four four nine three chip. You can pull it out. It has two chips. You can pull them out and replace them when the new chips come out. It's plug and play. That's incredible, that's upgradable, that's value. Doesn't matter what you pay for this, it matters that you don't have to buy another one. And it's still got all that power, and you can just make it better and better over time. If anything revolutionary happens in the sound world, I mean, we can definitely now, I think, say that, you know, we've mastered everything that our ears can do. I don't think our ears gonna, are gonna get anything beyond 7.1 or 9.1. I mean, they, they keep coming up with all these fanciful, you know, protocols, but at the end of the day, you really still hear in stereo, so, bruh, what are we doing? You know what I mean? You're only going to put in two headphones, and this is a headphone jack, so, bruh, what are we doing? Um, now, if you have a bunch of drivers, maybe they can do some fancy with it. You know, they, they, there have been some headphones with the 12 and 15 drivers, We've, you know, we do, and then, you know, you get the neurophones and all those fancy ways of attacking it. I'd like to get a pair of those, but they, they just, I, I missed them in the market, man. I really, I really would like a pair of those. But I digress. Now we have this. Let's see about his little friend.
a little companion, you know what I mean? He's uh, Dick Grayson to uh, Bruce Wayne. Why is this box so much easier to open than that one? This one just opened right the hell up. They, they learned their lesson with this box? I don't know what's going on. And once again, we're on the Zebra Crew. We went from white to black in one move. Oh, actually it was facing this way. I don't know, I flipped it over like that. <clears throat> so, this is the O5 BL for Bluetooth, actually. Uh, actually, obviously, actually, actually, obviously, I don't know. Both, actually, technically. BL Pro. It's the Pro. You're not, you're not doing this amateur style. And... If you know what scratch that is, first of all, you're old as hell. Second of all, put it in the fucking comments. Now, this jewelry box looking item, maybe perfume box. It's very nice. Very, very, hey, I bought Chanel number no. five, draw Car Noir or something like that. From, you know, one of these 80s perfume boxes. And it comes, ooh, nice little bit of foam, nice little gift box. What do we have? We have a warranty card. Yes, we do. We have some tiny little tool with some tiny little screws. So we have, uh, there is, there appears to be some installing needs to be done. I don't know. Maybe, maybe. Perhaps. Perhaps. It's a little tiny screwdriver, a little right angle, and a little spike on the other end. I'm not sure. But there's definitely a little screwdriver thing on one side. Um, I'll just use a real tool. Um, and then, what do we have here? We've got your main unit. Oh yeah, you know you like the main unit. Okay, I'm doing it this way because it's easier to poke through these things through the back. Poke it from the back. You need to poke it from the back. It's got this nice um, sort of postmodern art <laughs> uh, offset. I don't know. It's like an acoustic tile treatment for a studio, but I don't know why that needs to happen on the top of your amp deck, deck amp, the camp, the camp. It has it seems to be a ballistic uh, aluminum mounting, and I think that we found out what at least two of the screws are for. The, the screw holes are there. Um, and we have a free cable, which is good. That's nice. They don't make you buy one. That's, that's fair. Yeah, you know, you know, you know power supply. It's not a cell phone. You know. Even cell phones these days aren't coming with power supply. What the hell's with that? Put the, the charger in the box. Not in this box, but when you have a cell phone, come on now. If you're paying two and $2,000 for these things, you're not giving them chargers. That makes no sense. Um, so, we got just organize my space. Just organize my space. Let me, let me breathe. Let me live. So, we have the male part, the boy part sometimes. It has to go into the girl part, you know? And when this happens, they make a special kind of friends, sometimes. And sometimes these special friends last for a long time. Like, you know, 18 and a half years, if you know what I'm saying. 18 and three quarter years, something like this. And then right after that, they split ways and they go to this place called the divorce court. It's a very interesting story, but I don't have time for this today. Okay, I don't know why Pepe is telling you this story, but he feel like to come out and tell him this. So, it doesn't make the unit too much bigger. This is, this is kind of a ballistic plastic while this is steel. That's the only variant there. Um, it's, it's not as durable. I'm not gonna sit here and lie to you as this is. You can, yeah, if you drop this, it on this end, you're gonna handle, incur a lot less damage, a lot more damage than if you it on, drop it on this end. But if you drop it on the side, you should be okay. Um, shouldn't drop it, why, why? But there, I say that because it's very slick. It's very slick in the hands. I guess that, that was what I was intuiting and feeling in my soul. My, I feel, I don't think, because, you know, I'm not going to start. Um, so, all together, very, very powerful unit. Um, we're going to run it through its paces and see what we like, see what we can do. Um, I'm going to give us a, I'm going to pause this. We're going to do the magic of video. I'm going to see if I can link this to my phone right now. If I can't figure it out, I'll just have to wait till later. So let me see. Let me see what I got. And if I don't, I'll probably edit this part of the video out because I look like an idiot now. So, we have attached 
the two parts together. That's not that much bigger. This will still fit in your pocket. It's, it's, it's the size of a cell phone, basically. You know, so you get one, this in one pocket, your cell phone in the other. You can do, you can do your, your singer-songwriter gigs, you can do, you know, and still have your IEMs in. Um, we've made it a little bit more durable because apparently the knob has its own helmet. Um, the problem here for me is that all of that chunky, metal it's really hard to turn this on for me now. I'm sorry, baby. I had to mean to turn you on. There's no doing this by accident. It has to be intentional. And, but it does make it so more you want to do a, a one finger roll than you want to pinch. So this is more the way you're going to do it now. And that'll light your, uh, that'll light your screen up and get you going. So, but that's going to, you know, that's armor. That's, now the thing is almost a tank, but then I don't really understand of making all this stuff this much, this tanky. But you need the plastic housing because Bluetooth, you can't transmit. That's the problem. So, it's a, Bluetooth is always going to have that limitation. You can't, there's no way you can transmit through carbon steel or cast aluminum. It's just not going to happen. So, it's got a, a charge through, obviously. So, this is going to charge. The, the, there's no battery in this. This is just a dead object. The battery is still in here. And you have, you know, they're, they're, they call this the 05BL Pro DT Digital Turntable. You know what I mean? It'd be, you know, it's a Bluetooth digital turntable. So it's uh, definitely, you know, it's got you play your pause and the same stuff, the little stuff you have on the little dongle on here. It's got that here so you can skip your tracks and, you know, do all of that. It's also got a Panasonic microphone. I'll run some tests on that someday, but not today because um, this is an unboxing video, not a full review. But it has it's armed so this is all you kind of need you can make calls on it because even if you have a, a cable that doesn't have any wire you still got the mic in here and you know it's making it as useful a, an object as it possibly can be because now you're connected to your cell phone back and forth and you're productive it's got you know aptix ll and all the the it's it's only bluetooth 5.0 because let's let's face it, the 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 run on this, is they probably haven't sold all the ones they have. This is a very niche item, so this is a very specific DAC, and you know it's when you're when you're in this you know in this range and you're looking for a product like this, there's actually a lot of competition on this market. You've got the iFi Go Blue, you've got the Philo, you know the Five, you've got all of these things, so you will definitely not see these guys making, you know, a, a, a 6.0 and a 7.0 and an 8.0 Bluetooth uh, for every Bluetooth iteration that comes out. It's not necessary. You know, it should do the basic connectivity things that you need it to do. It's it's just going to make, you know, what are you going to make calls and listen to music? That's all you're going to do. It doesn't need to talk to space. Well, I guess your phone does talk to No, whatever, shut up. So, you have the combo of the XDO5, the X Do It All Do 5, and remember, this is a thousand, this is a one megawatt. You have the power to push all the headphones, all of them. The big Sennheisers, the big, the big fancy $10,000 headphones, they will all be pushed by this. This thing will do it. So, you know, planers, real planers, not, I'm not I mean, real full size over the head. Six, seven thousand dollar planer headphones will be pushed by this, and it will sound clear. It will sound pristine. You can, and you don't have to be hooked up to twenty thousand dollars worth of equipment. I mean, there's nothing wrong with you know that fantasy. There's nothing wrong with all that stuff. But but come on, you you can't do dishes like that. You can't wash your car like that. You can't do anything except sit there and listen. But now you can listen with high quality on the go. And that's what makes this package worth it. And we like to get you out there. You want you to do your own research, obviously, but, and we're gonna do some definitive listening through this thing, you know, uh, and maybe from now on in my videos, I'll be listening through one of my wireless DACs through to, you know, to my cell phone or, or to whatever, through whatever audio source I'm using, just to see over time how I'm evolving and liking this thing. You know, I, I, we're definitely going to be exploring what the possibilities are. So now you can go out there on stage, you can go out there in your living room, you can go out there in the forest and either make or listen to some art. 
So we got the unit, we got the subunit, we got the dual unit, Voltron that they have created. What else is in the box? Well, let's see if we can find that out together. Together. We're going to find this out together. More paper, more fighting. Oh, so fuzzy. Okay, now we're going to put our fingers on the holes. Ah, ooh, so tight. Another tight white box. Love my work. You gotta love your work. You got. You, you really do. Okay. Well, we got something in there. Let's see. Let's see. How about we just give them one of these? Okay. No, no, how about that? So, well, let me hold on. Let me sure. And then, oh, stuff's already falling out. Okay. Uh, well, I guess if you yank things into the floor, and they'll bounce out for it. Bounce out on you. So, we got your book. Relatively thick. A little nice. A little nice. Uh, that's a map. What you, what you need is a map. We, we definitely need a map. We don't want a nice book, we want a map. We want it to unfold and be in multiple languages. And uh, so you get your Chinese side, you get your English side. Yeah, it's English. Okay, I'm so open. Uh, let's hope it wasn't in Swahili or Sanskrit. Um, okay, so it says do things. And there's a quick start guide and tells you how to do your starting quickly. Uh, got sample rates, input sources, battery power, the DAC filter you're using, all of those nice things. Um, it's a book. It'll tell you stuff. So, you know, read it. RTFM. RTFM. Uh, oh, look at this. We have an adaptor. Adaptor. It's, uh, it's the worst Autobot, trust me. Um, it just does whatever he thinks everybody wants. It's just really bad. Um, so... Do a little finger work, there we go. And we can plug that into the other 4-4. Four, four. Click in the 4-4. Four, four. Yeah, I know, I made that joke already, shut up. Um, so there we go. Step in the door, click in the 4-4. Four, four. See what you need to use the damn thing for. All right, we got that. It's gold and black now. It's got to, what is this, gunmetal? Yeah, gunmetal, gray, some sort of gray. It's not black. But but I am, so I said something that's completely inaccurate. Okay, what is this? Oh, we have little, these look like little gel feeties, little, little stickers. Mm. You get your little 3M branded little ice cube. Hey, these little, why do you need so many? I guess because they've come off over time. I have no idea. I mean, they do for both sides, but there's like a random ass number. There's like six, there's 10 total. So I don't know why you would do that, but now you're supposed to put one in the middle on each side. Have no idea, my dear. And then you've got pins. You've got some sort of little multi-tool. There's two of them, but it looks like something to push a pin, like a, a pin button, like a, like when you pop out the thing in your phone. They're very small, very little heads. I have no idea what those are for. I am not an expert on this thing. I'm just opening the box, friends. So we have a warranty card. Pluck it, throw it to the side, and then we have L angled, ooh, branded, X Duo branded, L angled USB C connectors. So you can be at the peak of connectivity. And um, so you can sit this next to your, in, in, I guess in close field to some of your, and you can charge really close, you know, if you're, if you're gonna sit this on a charger. You don't need 100 miles of cable. And uh, this seems to only have one. I guess this is a backup. I Honestly, I don't know why there's two. It doesn't make a ton of sense to me, but maybe if I pull this off, I can tell. Oh, it stays on there, okay. It's not, it's not coming off for no reason. So, you, I mean, you got your charger USB in, so you got two of them. Yeah, that makes sense. So, if you're going to use your USB in, that's what that second one, secondary one is for. And I'm going to put this back. Oh. Okay, so hopefully that will be the last time I take that off. Um, and what do we have here? We have another USB, USB to USB, USB-C to USB-A. 
Um, so we have all the U USB US bases covered. Um, we have a little mystery item that says X Duo here. I'm going to. Okay, so this is incredibly tacky. <laughs> Just like me. That has been your second ASMR moment of the day. Um, yeah, this is a this is a sticker. Basically, this is a, a very gummy. If you're if you're if you if you if you're familiar with um, when you go to the doctor and they put those electrode things on you and they stick to your skin, this is exactly what this feels like. I do not know why it's there in this. I guess it's to stick it to your dash or something, but this seems like the kind of thing that will only work for a very short amount of time. You know, once dirt and dust stuff gets on these things, they, they're, they're kind of... So, I mean, maybe this is for a more permanent installation, um, but again, it's got the X-Duo branding, so you know they meant it. Uh, and again, I'm gonna have to look in the manual to see why this thing is even in the bag. I'm gonna put it back in the bag with the rest of the stuff I'm putting back in the bag including the screws for the, the helmet. And we are... That seems to be all that's extra here. So, moving on.